Welcome back to WJTV 12 News. Now, everyone is excited about New Year's Eve this year, and we are still battling COVID, the flu, and other respiratory infections, some of us, but we do have significantly less people dying, according to health officials. Well, today we have with us again Dr. Timothy Quinn to share with us some guidance as we prepare for New Year's Eve 2023. And Dr. Quinn, talk to us, what should we consider when deciding whether to attend a New Year's Eve party? Well, the most important thing to consider, according to the reports from the various organizations such as the CDC and others, is to assess your personal risk factors. And what I mean by that is if you're someone that's elderly, greater than 50, greater than 65, then you're more likely to be vulnerable. If you come into contact and you contract COVID or the flu or any other upper respiratory tract infection, you're more likely to get sick and be at risk of losing your life. So if you have high age or if you have chronic medical conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, especially lung disorders, then your immune system will have a higher probability of being compromised where if you contract COVID or another upper respiratory tract infection, you could become sick more likely than someone else. So if you fall into these categories, it's a very important that you consider not going to these large gatherings for the uh, New Year's Eve celebration. Also, if you have sick contacts in your household where you might contract COVID and take it back home to them, people that are vulnerable in the household, maybe you live with your grandmother. And then lastly, have you been vaccinated? If you've not been vaccinated, then you're at a higher risk than somebody that has been vaccinated. And these are the recommendations that are being distributed for people to consider if they want to go out and celebrate New Year's Eve in a big gathering such as a party or a celebration. And with those big gatherings, celebrations, Dr. Quinn, what are some specific advice you can provide for those, you know, to protect themselves, protect others if they do want to go out and attend a New Year's Eve event? Right. Well, What's being advised is if you go to a gathering, say, for instance, you're somebody that's young and healthy, you've been vaccinated, you still want to look at your risk. Uh, wearing a mask decreases your risk of contracting COVID. If you go to a gathering that's outdoors, you know, with no ceilings, then that's, that's less risk for you. And also, if you go to a gathering, you want to go to a gathering with less people would be, uh, you know, preferable. Like, for instance, if you go to a gathering with 10 people, then there's a risk, but if you go to one with, say, 100 or 1,000 people, there's a bigger risk. So these are things to think about. Also, you want to use hand sanitizer if you're touching a lot of things and don't touch your face as much as possible. And just understand that things are getting better, but we're not yet out of the storm. Absolutely. Let's don't take those chances. Is there anything else, Dr. Quinn, that I haven't asked you that you think would be helpful for today's segment? Well, want everybody to remember now that I've been talking about New Year's Eve celebrations for the last 20 years and I always come out with something I want everyone to consider. Do not overindulge in alcoholic beverages. Use moderation if you drink at all because a lot of times you can go to these celebrations and maybe some of your co-workers are there, maybe your boss, and you might have a little bit too much fun and say or do something that could make you feel a little embarrassed later. But also note that it's not healthy. And then lastly, if you drive, do not drive under the influence. If you've been drinking, try to have a designated driver because you don't want to get a DUI, which is very expensive, difficult for your records, your insurance, but also you could get into an accident and lose your life, or you could even hit someone else and they could be hurt. So just know that these are things to consider and just know that next year, 2023, it's going to be even, even a better year for everyone. Yes, it will be. Moderation, yes, and don't drink and drive. Thank you so much, Dr. Quinn, always for your helpful tips.